Hello everyone and Happy New Year. Welcome to your Period 11 monthly briefing. Now this monthly briefing is all about our Make the Difference Days. Now the best Make the Difference Days are based on simple ideas. And I have some of my best ideas when I'm walking to work in the morning. Now you'll probably remember when we helped our customers save energy by asking them to make a pledge when we gave them a free energy saving light bulb or when we asked you to go out to your communities and talk about fair trade using the Fair Trade Toolkit. As a business, we're committed to making a positive difference to the environment and the communities we trade in throughout the world. We know that when we ask you, our colleagues, for your ideas, you come up with great suggestions. So that's why we want to build on the past success of Make the Difference Days by asking you to come up with ideas to make them even bigger and better. We're confident that by getting even more of you involved, we can make an even greater difference. Now, to help us do this, we brought in our friends from We Are What We Do to lend a hand. This is Eugenie, one of the co-founders of We Are What We Do. You might remember them from the work we did together on the Annie Hine March, I'm Not a Plastic Bag, or the Change the World for a Fiverr books we gave you a year or so ago. So it's great to be working with them again. Thanks, Justin. We're really excited too. We Are What We Do is a global movement that believes it's not just politicians that change the world, each of us has a hugely important role to play. We believe that through the small things we do every day, we can affect the people around us, the environment and the society in which we live. We call these small things actions, and we believe that small actions multiplied by lots of people equals big change. Simple things we can do every day, like taking bags with us when we go to do our shopping, putting our loose change in the charity tin, or sitting down with a friend or colleague and sharing our lunch. We can do these things every day and they make a really big difference. Even something as simple as cleaning your teeth can make a difference. If you turn the tap off when you clean your teeth, you can save up to 18 litres of water. And if you clean your teeth twice a day for a year, that will save 13,000 litres of water. So if every Sainsbury's colleague did that, we'd save nearly 2 billion litres of water a year. But that's just one idea. I'll bet if you think about it, you can come up with hundreds of ideas. It doesn't matter if it's on the way to work, like me, or at work, or at home. The best ideas come to you when you least expect them. So what's next? How can you get involved? Well, let's see what a few of our colleagues have to say. What simple actions do you think would make a big difference? What actions would I ask colleagues from my store to do to help make a difference? Actually, wouldn't it be great if my idea was put into action by all 150,000 of my colleagues? To make an even bigger difference and maybe even change the world. Sometimes you just have to think small. To think big. at any time and in any place. What would I do? Hmm. What would I ask all 150,000 of my Sainsbury's colleagues to do if I wanted to change the world? How long have I been in here? Am I using too much water? I'd ask everyone to give blood. Thank you. <coughs> I'd get every colleague to use a mug rather than a plastic cup. There's no such thing as a bad idea. Even the smallest, simplest gestures can make a difference. Whatever your idea, the brilliant thing about these small actions is together they will make a huge difference to everyone. So there you have it. This is your chance to make a really big difference with just the smallest of ideas. Yes, that's right. Your idea really could become a Make the Difference Day. Something we get all 150,000 colleagues, or maybe even 19 million customers involved in. The colleagues with the best ideas are going to come here to London, to the Store Support Centre, to work on making their idea a reality. So how do you send in your ideas? 
Well, in every store, depot or office, you'll find a poster and a suggestion box. And all you have to do is fill in a postcard and send it in. Alternatively, you can text us or you can log on to the internet. But don't forget the closing date is the 5th of February. Your idea could be done by literally thousands of people, so it really could change the world. So now it's down to you. What's your idea for a small action that really can make a big difference? Yeah.